coming, otherwise known as you know, it's coming. It's coming. We are seeing it with our own eyes, and we technically are not doing anything about it. Look at the prices of goods. How they are getting. Look at the price of goods. How they are increasing over time. Look at the prices of services. Look at the prices of commodities. How they are increasing over time. Farming is coming. Farming is already here. For more than three weeks now. For more than three weeks now. Foil has been extremely, extremely high. And it's done. It's not just only in Nigeria. As I'm today, to fill your gas, to fill your car with full gas, you will have to spend almost, if not more than $101, American US dollars. So, as a matter of fact, in Nigeria, we are still quite very lucky that it has not got into that stage. But yet, if we look at our standard of living, if we look at our, at our, our GDP, we still realize that to fill your gas is still very expensive in Nigeria. To fill your car with full gas is still very expensive in Nigeria because the last time I attempted to do that, I spent about 13,000 Naira. 13,000 Naira when the minimum wage is still 30,000 Naira. That is almost 46%. So, farming is coming. It is time for us to revolutionize agricultural revolution. It is time for us to go back to that, to those plans, structural adjustment programs, agricultural programs, incentives. Nigeria has about 80% of arable land. 80% of arable land. We have a very massive, large manpower. But what do we have? We still have the country to still rely on the north with what we hit in this country. What if there is a war, God forbid, bad thing? What if there is a war today and the north are no longer able to bring their products down to the south? Why don't we have constant electricity? Why, don't, why can't we have up to like 16 hours of electricity in a day? What we need in this, in this country is uh, industrial electricity. In such a way that the industries can connect to the national grid and then they can be rest assured that the electricity they are relying on, the energy they are relying on, is enough for them. But look at what we have. Because of few little ones call themselves Kabas, the country has been held at the jugular. And we are still at the mercy of God. Well, God help us. Family is coming, I told you. And I remind you about this video that family is coming, I said so. God forbid bad thing, but we still have to work in order for us to be at the silver side. Thank you for watching.